In dealing with setbacks, XXX Tentacion once said, carry on like flights, I just carry on, with this pain inside of my chest got no choice but to carry on. And although very far from behaving stoically at times, X has a point. We do have to carry on. However, to add to this advice to carry on in the face of adversity, perhaps we can look at a more stoic approach to it. For philosopher king Marcus Aurelius, he agrees that we got no choice but to carry on. He says, the cucumber is bitter? Then throw it out. There are brambles in the path? Then go around them. That's all you need to know, nothing more. Don't demand to know why such things exist. Sometimes these things just happen, carry on. But at the same time, he says that we can actually benefit from these setbacks. Just as nature takes every obstacle, every impediment, and works around it, turns it to its purposes, incorporates it into itself. So too, a rational being can turn each setback into raw material and use it to achieve its goal. And going one step further, adversity and setbacks are actually of immense value to us, as they allow us to truly test out our virtues. Seneca writes, I judge you unfortunate because you have never lived through misfortune. You've passed through life without an opponent. No one can ever know what you are capable of not even you. Think about those who were ruined because their parents gave them everything they wanted without earning it. So no matter what happens, we do need to carry on and get through it. But there's also the fact that adversity lets you not only know who you are, but become who we are meant to be. What would have become of Hercules if there had been no lion, hydra, stag, or boar, and no savage criminals to rid the world of? What would he have done in the absence of such challenges? Obviously, he would have just rolled over in bed and gone back to sleep. So by snoring his life away in luxury and comfort, he would never have developed into the mighty Hercules.